Uh, okay. Basically, uh, now we're up to machining the head because we're going a big camshaft. Um, we have to go to a double valve spring. The standard spring is just a, uh, just a single spring, so we're going to have to open that up we, because of the double valve spring as well. We haven't got the splash shields from standard because Holden run an O-ring, um, valve stem O-ring, just an O-ring with a big splash shield to stop all splashing up in the guide. So we've also had to reduce the, the valve guide down to get extra clearance from our valve lift. Um, machine the outside diameter down to, to suit these positive um, seal powered seals and also we've got to bring out the um, spring seat for the bigger double valve spring and also machine down these posts here um, for screwing studs, 716 screwing studs and roller rockers and guide plates for our push rods. So that's what we're doing now. So what we'll do, I've done a few here. Nice little tool this, that uh, centralises the valve guide, a bit noisy, so what we're doing is just turning the outside diameter down to um, 916 by 162 power, which these seals are, also as you can see the cutter at the same time not only bringing the outside diameter of the valve guide, also is um, bringing the length of the valve guide down so we get more clearance from underneath the retainer to uh, the top of the valve stem seal. And basically, there we go which is all top down there, so we've got maximum clearance now on our valve lift. We're running a positive seal. And next step is um, to open them up for the double valve springs. It's all good, 308 holding.